All right, guys, thank you very much for watching our top 10 beginner coral series. We have reached number one. Kind of a surprise to some of you, it is going to be the clove polyp. Why we went with clove polyps, they come in many different colors. They are very easy to take care of. They're not as invasive as, say, zinnias or green star polyps. And they can grow just about anywhere. Top of the tank, bottom of the tank, middle of the tank. Most prefer middle, but they can be grown just about anywhere. For one last time, here is Eli with the technical stuff for you. Thanks, Ernie, and thank you guys for following us through all the way to number one on our top 10 corals list. As Ernie just mentioned, number one on our list happens to be clove polyps, which are one of our personal favorites here at the shop. They are definitely one of the easier growing soft corals, uh, and they're kind of unique. They give you more of like a flower shaped appearance in the aquarium. They're really not too invasive like some of your other soft corals are. And as Ernie mentioned, they come in every color under the sun. So they're a really cool way to add some variety to your tank. So uh, with the clove polyps in specific, they generally like a moderate amount of flow and a moderate amount of light, but they are pretty tolerant of different lighting conditions. As for flow, I would definitely recommend keeping them something with moderate flow, uh, indirect flow, basically brushed by the flow every once in a while. This helps to keep the underside of the polyps clean uh, because if they do start to build up detritus or do start to build up algae, a lot of times these corals will stay closed for a little while. However, if you do have clove polyps in your tank and they do start to close up, I would not fret just with the rest of your soft corals. A lot of times they will close up for a week or two at a time and they still do usually uh, bounce right back from this. As for compatibility, they really are not very fast growing so they don't usually smother any other corals if they grow next to them. And they also really don't have much of a sting so you can place them pretty closely to other corals and not have to worry about that. In my opinion, I think that clove polyps make a really nice space filler coral, something that you can kind of throw in between some other corals where you don't have room for a lot of growth. And and they fill in this space nice and full and they're not going to run the risk of really smothering your other corals or stinging them and this makes them a little more manageable once they get to a certain size and they won't really continue to grow past that as for aquaculture ability these are something that are farmed pretty regularly we do have a handful of varieties at least four or five at our farm down the road that we regularly bring back to the shop, but they are pretty easy to grow. If you get them growing on tiles, just chipping up the tile once they cover the whole thing, uh, and you can glue that piece of tile back down elsewhere. And if they are growing on, say, a rock, same sort of thing applies, but if you have to, you can actually kind of peel up the polyps from the rock or from the tile and glue them down elsewhere as well. As long as their base is intact, the entire polyp should still be viable and they're pretty easy to glue down from that rate. A bunch of different color forms of the clove polyps do exist out there. The cloves that we have in this tank here are what you call the firecracker cloves, which have a nice green center and they're kind of a purplish base with the orange tips on the edge of every polyp. And this is one of the most colorful ones that you run across, but they also have some really bright orange varieties out there, some bright yellows and some nice bright greens, as well as a few others. Most of the time they do take upon the same uh, general appearance at least, but some do grow larger polyps than others, and some look a little more frilly or feathery than some of your other kinds. So you can end up with a nice variety and a nice assortment of these in your tank if you decide to collect them. So to wrap it all up, uh, clove polyps are one of the coolest soft corals, one of the most beginner friendly, collectible, colorful corals that you can add to your tank. Uh, they are very diverse and very easy to care for. Pretty adaptive to your aquarium, can go high light, low light, as long as they have a good decent amount of flow to keep them clean they should thrive in your tank as always thank you guys for watching thank you for tuning in throughout our beginner 10 coral list and keep on reefing